Hi, it's Steve with more ideas for how to make your shows look better. Please subscribe. I've recently found a new way to visualize my light shows, which is a way of simulating how things will look on a computer before you run your show. And you can adjust all your lights and motion in your scenes and chases without plugging in a single DMX cable. And the best part is you can do it with some free programs. In this video, I want to show you how to create a virtual version of your lighting rig using Photoshop and two free programs how to use a hardware controller to visualize scenes in real time, how to synchronize a show to an audio track, and finally, how to play back the virtual show that you created on your DMX lights. There's an amazing program called ShowBuddy Active that lets you control your lighting rig from a Mac or a PC. And it has a ton of really cool features, including a simple 2D visualizer. You can download the demo for free, and you can use the visualizer with practically no restrictions. So to set up the visualizer, you create a virtual version of each of your lights using profiles from ShowBuddy's fixture library. Luckily, there are hundreds to choose from, and even if you can't find your particular light, you can write your own profile pretty easily. Once your rig is set up, you can use the on-screen sliders to control your simulated lights. But I wanted to see if I could make things look a little more realistic. So I found a great little app called Redline Tools that you can download for free. And the first thing I did was to build a simulation of my lighting rig in Photoshop. I built everything in layers so I could manipulate things easily and configure different setups. Then, when you export a PNG file and bring it into Redline Tools, you can overlay the image in the ShowBuddy Visualizer and get a better idea of how everything will look. A great thing about ShowBuddy Active is that it lets you map a MIDI controller to its on-screen faders. Here I'm using my trusty Arturia Beat Step. When you go into MIDI Learn, you can see each of your fixtures, and when you select a particular channel and send MIDI continuous controller data, it learns that function from your controller. And then once it's learned, by sending that data from the knob or fader, you can control the software. You can also control any of the presets that you've programmed by sending MIDI note data. You can trigger presets. It keeps getting better because you can also run the app as a VST or audio unit plugin in your favorite DAW or digital audio workstation. I have it set up in Logic Pro. Here's a track that's set up for MIDI control running the plugin. And when I play the audio track that I imported, I can record scenes and real time fader actions in sync to the music. And once they're recorded, then you can play them back and move and edit the MIDI data to fine-tune your show. So now, when you're ready to run the show that you've just designed, the best and easiest way is to just buy the full version of ShowBuddy Active and output the DMX to your lighting rig. But since I've been mostly using my iPad to run my lights wirelessly,
And because the iPad app I'm using, which is Vibrio, can also use MIDI to trigger scenes, I decided to try going directly from my computer to the iPad using MIDI interfaces and run my show. It's admittedly more work because you have to program your show buddy scenes and your Vibrio scenes to match, but once it's set up that way, it works pretty well.